The Biden administration announcing it'll scrap funding from the CHIPS Act that had been allocated to build and expand semiconductor R&D facilities. Our Christina Partsinevelos breaks down the impact of that for today's Tech Check. Hey, Christina. Hi, Carl. Well, there's so much demand right now for the $53 billion CHIPS Act government aid that the Biden administration announced, like you said, that it's going to scrap funding plans specifically for research and development facilities. That amount uh, is undisclosed at the moment, but Reuters is reporting it's more than $2 billion, and it's $2 billion that's going to be allocated to fund chip manufacturing hubs like Intel, for example, which just received over $20 billion in aid and government loans to build chips on American soil just uh, um, last month. It is a lot. $20 billion is a lot, but it's, it's a drop in the bucket when you consider Intel has promised to spend over $100 billion on manufacturing hubs like this Ohio one you're seeing on your screen right now. I spoke with Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger just uh, a few weeks ago, and he told me that it took three decades to lose chip manufacturing to Asia, and it's not just going to come back here in the United States in three to five years, and suggests that there should be another round of government aid calling it CHIPS Act 2. We'll see if that catches on. Speaking of those manufacturing hubs, Intel is looking to convince investors of better profitability in a webinar this afternoon. It plans to separate the economics of its internal fabs from its chip designs. That means a separate profit and loss for chip manufacturing hubs to better highlight the metrics of Intel's businesses. With Intel hoping, analysts will now evaluate Intel with a, some of the parts analysis and conclude that maybe this company is undervalued. But investors are cautious. And you can see that in the stock reaction this year alone. Even if you don't know any of the names on the screen, you can see Intel's the only red one there. Broadcom up 37%, NVIDIA up 79%, Marvell up 19%. Intel shares just clearly not riding that AI wave. And that's because near-term fundamentals are still trending flat to negative. PC sales are slow to rebound. Intel's programmable chip business, Altera, is trending lower. And while there is pickup in server demand, AMD has been consistently stealing market share from Intel. And another big negative, the foundry business we just talked about is supposedly losing a lot of money. Right now, as it builds out these hubs, some, like Ohio, we just saw that moments ago, are already delayed until maybe 2027, 2028. And that adds to investor caution about Intel's big turnaround. Sarah?